the intro riff played up to tempo. So let's talk about that. So the first thing we're doing is hitting the low open E two times. And then we're coming here to the second fret of the A string and doing a that's a hammer on pull off from the second fret of the A to the third fret of the A. So we have this. And you know, after you do that pull off, you can just pull off to that B note or you can pick it. Next part, you come back to the open E, and you play second, third, back to second of the low E string. So it's slowly. So open, two, three, two, open, two, three, two listening is Shark Island. Um, this album came out in 1986. This was before their major rate label release, Law of the Order. Uh, the guys have finally put this back out. It is fantastic. If you love 80s metal, check this album out. I'm going to leave their website uh, information, their YouTube, their Instagram all in the description so you can get over there and pick this up. This is the, the main verse riff of... Uh, So we play that open low E again. Everything's going to be played on the low E string. So it's going to be 7, 7th fret, 6th fret, 5th fret, and then 5 to 3, all on the low E. from five to three, that's kind of a, a fast change there. So hold, and, and then when we come out of that, we're doing a little, that's one, two, three, four, five. On the fifth, the fifth time, you're gonna come back to that B note on the low E string, so. Slowly. Second verse is exactly the same. Back to the same riff again. Open the riff. open E there and there's a kind of a drum solo there and then we get this and it holds plays again and it comes a little bit faster that part's kind of like a bridge I guess before the guitar solo so what we're playing here are major third intervals. Uh, the first one's going to be on the seventh fret of the A string. The uh, second note's going to be the sixth fret of the B string. So we're playing those two notes together. We shift down a half step or one fret and play that same shape. That's going to be six on the A, five on the D. And then we're going to shift down again one fret or a half step fifth fret of the A, fourth fret of the D. So we have, hold that, comes 
back again. Holds again. Now it comes a little bit quicker, less of a pause. Now there is, a, this is right before we get into the solo. We consider the guitar solo, so it's got a little bit of a rhythm type thing going with it as well. So we're the bar chords we're playing are going to be a 12-5 and a D-5. Now that's going to be... 12th fret of the low E, 14th fret of the A, and that's going to be a 10th fret of the low E to 12th fret of the A, and it's going to be a... I'm doing that kind of fast. And then we play this little lick. Now, what I'm doing here is just barring my first finger across the G, B and high E string, and you're doing a, so it's kind of a quick down, down, and then a down up, but you can kind of see in between that, I'm having to mute those strings with my other finger, so you can kind of see how I'm laying my fingers back on the strings. Now, from there, we do this uh, little lead that follows Ozzy's vocal. Now, I kind of play it a little different. I do like a... I do a little bend up and pull off there. You can do it either way. It sounds pretty cool both ways. But the original way, I believe, is going to be sliding into the 14th fret of the D string to the 12 of the G to 14 of the G back to 12, back to 14, and then you do a bend, so it's, you repeat that again, now on that last, the second time you do a, you kind of got to bend up before you play that, this I guess is the third note. Or you could do the the pull the bend up and the pull off. Then it comes back into this. Now we come here to this double stock lick, and it's, it's, this is where uh, it's basically kind of mimicking Ozzy's kind of, it's kind of like a call and answer, a call and response lick. So we're doing a... And when you do that, you're actually playing the B string and the high E together. You're going to anchor your first finger here on the 12th fret of the high E, and then you're going to be doing the bend here at the 15th fret of the B. So you want to get a... And actually the bend from the B string is going to be a whole step. And so, you know, once you get those together, it's a very chordal kind of lick. And you see it's basically saying electric funeral, and you're kind of, you know, it's kind of a call and response. So... I think it's four times. You repeat that again. One more time. Now you're going to come up here and do a... So it's the same kind of chordal double stop lick, just played on the G and B string. So we're going to come here and anchor our first finger here on the third fret of the B. And then your ring finger is going to be doing the bend on the 5th fret of the G string. And again, we're playing G and B together, so you get a... And then we switch down, or come up a whole step, that's 2 frets, to the 7th fret of the G, 5th fret of the B, and do a... So it's like a... That's pretty much all the guitar solo. So, and then we go back into the. This is the third verse. It's the final verse. It's the same as all the other verses. And then one 
once that goes through, it plays that main riff again. And then as the song goes through, it basically verses out. So the riff and the verse is how it kind of basically ends the song. And it's very kind of played lower. So it's like a... And that's everything. What a great song. I, I love going back and, and, and learning these old tunes. And, uh, you know, I knew part of that song, but I didn't know the entire song. So it's great just to go back and listen to all the little subtleties and, and how creative those guys were. You know, something you keep, I keep forgetting. And I think about some of these guys were just like really, really young, like 19, 20 years old, 18 years old, when they put all this stuff down and recorded. And it's just amazing. I mean, Sabbath, they were trailblazers i mean you know the heavy metal started with sabbath i, I will always argue that point <laughs> so guys thank you uh i'll be getting another lesson together here soon and i sure appreciate you checking it out